Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 2nd to the 8th, 2023. I'm working with the teacup tarot deck here, made and orchestrated and created by Ann Ellis Angels. Please go check her out. She has a beautiful channel here. She does what I do, and these are her cards she gifted me with. They're beautiful. They're whimsical. Uh, her swords suit is called pencils and some of the names of some of her major arcana are different as well only because she deals with angels and she wanted to make this deck pass through a love filter so that it seemed a little more gentle so on that note let's see what your readings about coming in with your energy cards you have quite a few here because you had some major cards come through you've got the card the rooster uh, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So you could be coming into some opposing energy. There could be somebody coming in around you uh, at this particular time. And it's advisable that you don't lock horns with them. Uh, choose your battles wisely and move forward. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in any other people's drama this week. Now, the next card you got was from the love part of this deck. And this is the teacup tarot or the this is the, the tea leaf tarot this is a tea cup tarot so I'm using both so moving forward here with the love card what did you need to know bouquet compliments from an admirer so there could be somebody coming forward uh, there could be somebody here who's full of themselves they could be a little bit <clears throat> arrogant and they could be a little bit jealous because maybe you're meeting somebody here that they're jealous of but it's beautiful that you have an admirer it's beautiful that you're going to be getting compliments in in love from someone here who truly cares for you on an emotional or perhaps a romantic uh, energy. Career comes in next, I wanted to know, and you're in a position of authority. So you could be self-employed, you could be getting, um, you know, you could be leveling up at your place of work in your career, you could be getting a promotion uh, where you may be head of a department or other people. Uh, having a leadership role here, being your own entrepreneur as well. This is beautiful. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, you do have the card, the Eight of Wands. So there is going to be a shift of energy here, my beautiful Scorpios, where you're going to find yourself getting really busy, having to juggle and, and you know, you know, doing a lot of things here. But I do think you're going to make light of it if you balance yourself, if you allocate some of those duties to other people or you set up priority lists that you can tick off at your own pace here. But it is fast moving action. It's busyness. You may be getting a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts, a lot of letters, a lot of uh, a lot of communication of some sort that will require you to pay attention. You could be getting a lot of clients, could be getting a lot of business as well. So I think you're going to, you're quite, you're, you're quite adept when it comes to uh, doing time management and balancing things. You have this ability to be, to do a lot of things at one time. And I do believe you'll get through this quite nicely, my Scorpios. Now, coming in in your first row, you have, and this could be energy coming in behind you, past tense, or perhaps the beginning of your week. The Five of Pencils, which is the Five of Swords. Uh, you have the Six of Pencil Pencils, which is the Six of Swords. And you have Reflection, which actually is the card of Judgment. So I think, you know, you're making a judgment call. I think you're moving forward in a new direction and you're climbing to new heights here. This is all about looking at things from a different perspective and making those moves uh, that are going to benefit you to your greater good. Um, <clears throat> you're only going to take those who you truly trust and want in your end of your circle, whether it's chosen family or colleagues or best friends, whoever the case is, you're definitely moving forward in a new direction and you're climbing the heights to do that. But you've got support here coming with you. Five of Pencils could be competition. This is making new plans. This is not allowing yourself to get caught up in other people's drama, looking at things in a new way going forward, allowing yourself to, t to plan your moves as you move forward, uh, learning from the experience of, of any disappointments from the past or actually taking what works for you to go forward with. Now, Six of Pentacles says you're moving on and you're feeling good about it. So you're definitely going in a new direction here.
Judgment call's been made. That's a card that says you're moving forward in a new direction. It's like a second chance, and you're so grateful for it uh, that this is coming forward. You're, you know, six of, six of Swords is, Six of pencil, Pencils is a Six of Swords, and that says leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. So it's very good energy. Uh, just don't allow yourself to get caught up in that energy of too much competition or feeling as though you're being pulled into other people's drama, okay? Now, in your center position, which could be the energy you're feeling right now or the middle of the week, you've got Ace of Coins, you've got uh, the Nine of Cups, and you've got the Chariot. So you're definitely making leaps and bounds, stepping up into your confidence level, doing things that you want to do, and, you know, even taking risks. I see you taking some, making some moves and taking risks to go forward towards what it is you truly want to do here. Um, I think, you know, you're going to come out a champion because you're being articulate, you're planning your moves, and you've decided this is a new direction you need to go. It could be in your career, it could be in relationships, it could be moving geographically, whatever the situation is for each one of you, it could be different. Ace of Coins, beautiful card of new beginnings, money, promotions, Doors of opportunity opening up, making the changes. You've got the key to open that door of opportunity and abundance and advancement. I do think that you're doing those changes. And because of it, Nine of Cups shows up, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. That is wishes coming true, wishes fulfilled because of your due diligence, because of the choices you're making, um, because you're maybe taking some risks or doing things differently that you thought you never would. You're coming out ahead. You're going the distance, my beautiful Scorpios, to come into your wishes fulfill. And that's you doing the work. Wow. Now, coming in towards you, which could be the end of the week or future energy, you have the Eight of Teacups. You have the Unity card. And this has been coming in for a lot of others. This is the Hierophant. And you've got the Seven of Cups. So you're definitely making choices here. Uh, right now, you've de made, you're making a choice possibly to go in a new direction, which we talked about here with, you know, moving forward here. The Six of Swords, leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. Uh, you know, the Reflection card here. The 20, and that again is judgment, making a call that you need to do something and go forward, and it's going to be successful. You, you've decided to walk away from a situation with the Eight of Cups, realizing that you're not there yet, but you're planning it and you're starting that process, one foot in front of the other. You're not going to turn around and go back where you were. You've come to that conclusion. Whatever that situation was, you're not going back there. You're going forward in a better direction because you know it's a better direction. You're being, you're being supported here. The Five of Unity, which is a hierophant, blessing and message from the divine, doing things maybe in a more traditional way and bringing only those into your circle and your soul pod that you want to travel this next part of your journey with. Talked about that here too with the judgment card, getting that second chance to go after what you want and working well in groups. So you could be, uh, you could be teaching, you could be uh, counseling, you could be uh, doing something like that with people. You have that ability to do that. I think you could be getting into more wellness and healing aspects of your life and perhaps spirituality could be brought into the equation as well only wanting to be in that crowd of people who support you and walk the same part of the journey. Now, you're making wise choices with the Seven of Cups, and sometimes it becomes a little more, uh, becomes a little overwhelming because you may be given a lot of different choices here that you're going to have to sit down and process and think about. Do I choose this? Do I choose that? Do I go this way? Do I go that way? You're going to be making wise choices, choices that are going to benefit you all around, that are going to be long lasting. They're going to last the test of time and work out in your in for your greater good. Wow, pretty good reading. This is great. Well, my beautiful Scorpios, this is your reading for this week. And I do think that there's a lot of success coming into you, all because you've made some calculated and uh, responsible choices and decisions here to move forward in a new direction and make those changes that are going to benefit you. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.